On October 7, 2024, the Norwegian parliament approved a significant investment to expand and enhance its F-35A stealth fighter fleet, allocating NOK 14.4 billion, approximately Euro 1.24 billion, towards the purchase of additional aircraft and complementary weapon systems. This investment, part of Norway's long-term defense strategy, aims to ensure the nation's air defense capabilities remain robust through 2030. The newly authorized purchases will bring Norway's fleet of 52 F-35s to full operational capability by 2025, supported by upgrades to both the aircraft and associated infrastructure. With 40 F-35A fighters already delivered, 34 stationed in Norway and 6 based in the United States for training, the remaining 12 aircraft are expected to arrive by summer 2025. These final jets will include TR-3 software upgrades, providing enhanced computing power, radar, and electronic warfare capabilities, ensuring that Norway's fleet remains at the cutting edge of modern warfare. The F-35s are set to replace the aging fleet of 72 F-16AB jets, which have been operational since the 1980s. Along with the F-35 purchase, Norway's defense plan includes the acquisition of new air-to-air -air missiles and long-range precision weapons designed to engage both land and sea targets. The parliament approved the funding for projects 7707 and 7720, which focus on enhancing Norway's fighter aircraft capabilities. This includes the development and integration of the Joint Strike Missile, JSM, a long-range precision-guided weapon developed by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. The JSM is designed for anti-ship and land attack missions, and full integration into Norway's F-35 fleet is expected by 2025. Norway's defense expansion also involves significant investments in infrastructure to support the F-35's operational needs, particularly in the Arctic region, where Norway plays a crucial role in NATO's defense. Both the Orland Main Air Station and Evens Air Station have undergone upgrades to accommodate the F-35s, with the Bardufoss Air Station recently reactivated as part of the country's defense infrastructure enhancements. In addition to physical upgrades, the Norwegian Air Force is focusing on a predictive maintenance strategy for the F-35 fleet. Utilizing the Autonomic Logistics Information System ALICE, Norway aims to improve aircraft availability by preemptively addressing maintenance issues. Norway is collaborating with Lockheed Martin and other international partners to address supply chain challenges and ensure a steady flow of spare parts and equipment. The total estimated cost of Norway's F-35 program is NOK 394 billion, 33.884 billion euros, by 2054, covering the costs of aircraft acquisition, infrastructure, maintenance and future upgrades. The Norwegian Ministry of Defense is already planning for Block 4 updates, which will bring advancements in computing and sensor technologies, enhancing the fleet's operational capabilities. These updates are aimed at ensuring Norway's F-35s remain compatible with NATO forces and capable of addressing future threats. In addition to the F-35, Norway is investing in other key defense assets, such as NASM's three air defense systems, which will provide coverage for the F-35 bases and key locations across the country. The Norwegian Air Force is also acquiring five PN-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft for anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol missions expected to be fully operational by 2026. Further bolstering maritime capabilities, six MH-60R Seahawk helicopters are set for delivery between 2026 and 2030, enhancing the Norwegian Coast Guard's ability to patrol its waters effectively. Norway's substantial investment in its F-35A fleet and complementary weapon systems is a critical element of its national defense strategy, aligning with NATO commitments and ensuring the nation is well prepared for emerging security challenges. With full operational capability expected by 2025, these advanced jets, along with modernized infrastructure and integrated weapon systems, will significantly strengthen Norway's air defense and maintain its strategic role in the Arctic and within NATO.